We have some examples here for how decomposition can be developed in classroom activities. In the early years, this might involve breaking tasks into minute stages, modelling and providing examples. In years three to four, this could involve developing strategies and identifying parameters and what might be available to work with. For example, in Codebreaker, players have a certain number of colours and peg spaces. In programming environments like Blockly, it could involve exploring the number of blocks or moves that a student has to work with. In years five to six, students could apply decomposition to programming projects or other discipline projects, for example, like planning a school garden or a community event. Decomposition is also valuable in team planning and teamwork and could provide a means for students to develop some very useful strategies. Decomposition can be developed within other learning areas. For example, in mathematics, it might involve planning how to approach a problem, for breaking down the problem, and then looking at the knowledge required and some strategies that could be used to try and solve the problem. In science, students could plan the steps needed to undertake a science experiment. And this could include figuring out what equipment is needed, research and questions that are required. In design and art, students could break down steps to create something. And in doing so, consider what is their goal, what is needed, what parts are needed to be done to achieve the goal. In literacy, students could decompose or plan the events of a story, and this could also be included as a strategy for reading comprehension. One important aspect to problem decomposition is how we go about breaking down the problem. Graphic organisers may provide students with a graphic template to help them organise their ideas. Some examples of structuring ideas involve brainstorming, lists and concept mapping.